Hello everyone and welcome to my course on Google Certified Educator Level 1. Uh, thank you for joining me again and uh, as spoken uh, in my last uh, module, uh, I have divided the Google Certified Educator Level course in four modules and we are going to start module two today. So the apps present in module two are Google Groups, Chrome, browser that is Chrome browser with Chrome extensions and understanding what is Omni search. Then we are going to look into sheets and then we are going to look into forms. So let's start with groups. Now groups is one of the most integral part of G Suite and uh, it is highly one of the highly unused tools but it is a very very powerful option now what groups let you do is, it lets you create a group which, uh, in which you can add like multiple email IDs like suppose you have a group of grade one. So you can add all the students in grade one in that group. And every time you want to communicate with them on that group, you would just type grade one at your organization name Org. So whatever your group name is. Now why groups are important is because they are one of the best tools for communication between students, parents, and there are different kinds of groups. There are groups just for email lists, which you know, you just create email IDs in that and uh, you use it for emailing. It's like bulk emailing your entire class. Or you can have groups wherein the parents can discuss with the teachers and the, and the and the the school. So basically, you could have a discussion forum kind of a group. You could have an email list kind of group. So let's see how do you create a group quickly. So you would log in on groups.google.com, and you'll have to log in obviously uh, with your uh, G Suite ID. Now, once you are logged in. You have to go on a section which lets you create group. So on the left hand side, so let's uh, wait for the page to load. The groups can also be accessed by clicking these nine dots and clicking on uh, you know groups here. So that's an alternative way of accessing groups. So once the group page opens up, you're going to click on create group. You would, so let's create a group for grade one. Uh, you can provide description here and that's your organization ID. And what I'll do is in this, I'll just as you have a privacy setting for sharing a document, the same way it, there are some settings for groups. So here, what I'll do is I will just click on invited users. Okay, because I want to myself invite or directly add the users because I am the teacher of the of the class, so I would prefer to do it that. And what I can do is in subscription, I will select email and in group members I will add the IDs. So There are certain groups where you can have, uh, you know, Gmail kind of IDs also, but your G Suite domain should allow you to add non organization IDs. If it doesn't allow, it throws in an error. In this case, it allowed. So now when I click on the group, what it lets me do is it lets me seize all the users in the group, all the members in the group. So when I click on members, I can see the members in the group. Okay, so it didn't let me add a non, uh, you know, Google, uh, a non organization ID because my G Suite setting doesn't permit to do so. We'll try and add again. Let's see if we are able to do that. Okay, so here it's frozen and open that error can, can put action could be performed for the person because see it's outside the group domain. 
so that is the reason it doesn't let you do it so because you're a school and you will be giving all the email ids to the students uh, typically it allows you to create groups with extension of the e email ids uh, which belong to your own organization just in case you want to add gmail ids you will have to enable the setting from the g suite admin panel okay now there are some membership settings uh, there are some uh, group settings also and what you're seeing is a totally new interface uh, of groups i am not getting into options of uh, you know collaborative inbox uh, because it lets you have a like a email inbox with like all the members uh, accessing it and all so right now uh, I think this much in, in information is enough uh, when it comes to your uh, G Suite uh, Google Certified Educator Level 1 exam. Uh, you have to note that in case you have to mail the group now, you would be entering the group ID and all the members in this group will automatically get the message. A very good form because group once you create at one place it can be used at different applications of google itself like when you create google classrooms when you work on gmail when you share a document it's one of the best options uh, to have before you uh, you know uh, start using it totally so one of the most integral parts uh, g suite is uh, uh, groups is that what we covered in this particular uh, video uh, thank you for watching i will i'm looking forward to looking at my next uh, video